Hello Grade 3s and welcome back to Worksheet Class. Welcome to today's Grade 3 English lesson and I hope that you are ready to learn with me today. Now if you have any questions throughout the lesson or after the lesson, then please send an email to grade3 at worksheetcloud.com or you can ask mommy or daddy to help you send an email and we will try and answer your questions as quickly as possible. Now, if this is the first time that you are watching a lesson with us, my name is Teacher Taryn and I'm going to do Grade 3 English Home Language with you today. We are going to learn all about homophones and homonyms. So let's have a look at homophones. What are homophones? They are words that sound the same. So there's a little ear to remind you that it's going to sound the same and that little phone over there can help you to remember the phone part means that it will only sound the same. That's going to help you a little bit later when we also look at homonyms. Now, a homophone is a word that sounds the same, but they are spelt differently because they mean different things as well. So although they sound the same, they are going to look very different and they have different meaning. Now this makes it a little bit difficult for us because we need to remember which homophone to use in the correct place. Now let's have a look at an example of a pair of homophones. Now homophones will always be more than one word because you need to compare two or three. So a pair is always two words. So let's have a look at this pair of homophones. We have sun and sun. It sounds the same, the spelling is different, we can definitely see it looks different, and it has a different meaning. So let's have a look at the different meaning of these two words. The first one is what a parent will call their boy child. So if a mom or a dad has a son, a boy, then he is the son. Now this son has a U or an A in it. And this is the sun that shines, that makes it light enough for us to see during the day. So let's try to identify the correct homophones together, and then you're going to try it by yourself. So, mom baked two or two or two cakes for my birthday. They sound the same, these three. They definitely look very different. And we know they have three different meanings. So the first two, the one in pink, is the number after one or the number before three. So this two is a number. The next two explains movement in a direction. So I go to the shop. The last two has a double O and this two means as well or the extreme version of something, or it can mean very. So either you can say, I would like to go to the shop too. That means you would also like to go, or you would like to go as well. Or you can also say, it is too hot today. It is the extreme version, or it is very hot. So now that we know what each word means, we can identify the correct one. Remember, in the past, we've said identify means we look for or we find the correct one. So we know it is mom baked two, the number two, cakes for my birthday. Because there are my two cakes. So now you're going to try to identify the correct homophone on your own. My sister ate or ate too many chocolate eggs. Our team won or won our sport match. A beautiful flower or flower is growing in our garden. Remember, you've got to choose one of these two options. Have a look while I'm reading. I wear or wear a scarf around my neck when I get cold. I love my mom so or so much. My favorite pair or pair of socks are blue or blue. So 
So let's have a look now if you chose the correct one. My sister eight, that is the number eight, and this eight is when is the past tense of eat. I ate something. So it's going to be eight, the second one. Our team one or one. Now if there's ever a pair of homophones where you don't know which the, one of them means, you can just look at the second one. I know that one is the number one. So it has to be the first one. Our team won our sport match. A beautiful flower or flower is growing in our garden. So which one is it going to be? Yes, definitely the first one because the second one is the flower that we use when we bake. I wear or wear a scarf around my neck when I get cold. Now this is one that we always get confused and the first one is when I wear clothes. Now the second one is where did you put your pencil? Or where did you lose your shoe? So this refers to a place. I love my mom so or so much. The first one means I sew with a sewing machine. So it's got to be the second one. And the last sentence, this pair refers to two things that go together. So it'll have to be that one because the second pair is the fruit that we can eat. Our socks are blue or blue. Now hopefully by now you're going to know that that is how you spell the color blue. And the second one would be I blew a bubble. Okay, so let's have a look at homonyms. Remember, homophones sound the same, but they're spelt differently. Now, homonyms are words that sound the same. They are spelt exactly the same, but they have different meanings. So this means that they're going to look exactly the same. So we've got fly and fly. Now we're going to have two different meanings. They look the same, they sound the same, but let's see what the first meaning could be. You fly away with an aeroplane. So this would be a verb that you can do. You can fly in an aeroplane. Now this fly are those pesky insects that annoy us during the summer months. So it could be a noun because it's an insect. You can hear them, you can see them, you can touch them. They sound the same, the spelling is the same, and they have a different meaning. And here we've seen what those different meanings are. So let's have a look at the word bat. Now bat has three different meanings. This bat is a nocturnal animal. Now nocturnal just means that they are busy at night. They sleep during the day. And they are active when it is dark while you are sleeping. So the bat is the nocturnal animal. This will be a noun because I can see it, I can touch it. So it is something that I can see, touch, I can use all my senses. It's a noun. Now this bat, I'm sure you can picture what it is already. It's an object used to hit a ball, like a cricket bat. This is also a noun. Because you can hear it when the ball hits it, you can see it, you can touch it. And the last bat that we've got over here, when it is your turn to bat for your team. So that is a verb because it's something you're going to do, it's an action. So we have three different meanings for the word that sounds the same and it looks the same. It sounds the same, the spelling is the same. And it has a different meaning. So that is a homonym. Now, so let's have a look at these sentences. I will train hard for the Olympic Games. Now, train is the word we're going to look for. It could mean the train. We take the train to travel to Johannesburg. So that would be the noun. You can climb into a train, so you can touch it. You can hear the train while it's busy traveling. 
But there's another meaning for train, which would be the athlete will train very hard for his race. So this train means I'm going to practice something, or I'm going to work at something, or someone is going to teach me something. So which one is it going to be in this sentence where you train hard for the Olympic Games? You've got to look for the correct meaning. Yes, it's going to be the one where the athlete is going to train or practice. So let's quickly revise what we've learned. We've learned that homophones, it sounds the same. Homonyms also sounds the same. Homophones, the spelling is different. Homonyms, the spelling is the same. And homophones have a different meaning, like blue or blue or pear or pear. We had to look for the right one in that sentence. So the meaning is very important. And homonyms also have a different meaning. But it doesn't matter about the spelling because they are spelt the same. So homophones, they sound the same. And the only way they are different to homonyms is that the spelling is different. And this is the one we need to concentrate on, that we use the right one in the sentence. Homonyms, we just need to know what is the right meaning of this word for this specific sentence. Now, grade threes, I hope you've enjoyed learning all about homophones and homonyms today. And there are so many that exist that we definitely couldn't cover all of them. But sometimes when we read, we might come across one of them and then you'll know exactly what it is called. Now, I hope you have a lovely afternoon further. And until the next time that I can see you, grade threes, I hope that you're learning and reading and doing some fun things at home. This lesson was brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. Goodbye, grade threes.